This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. In the Express course, this is Lesson 15. In Course D, this is Lesson 12. Until Loops in Maze, Puzzle 7. Help the zombie get to the sunflower. Mm. Aha! Sunflower. Zombie. Check. Okay. So, we want to use five blocks or less. We're going to have to use a repeat or some type of loop. And we can only use one move forward. All right. Hmm. Where to start? I know I want to use that. And I know I want to use this because we want to repeat our action until we get to the sunflower. Okay. So, well, now right now I'll just walk into the end though. Oh, right. Let's use our wall loop here and check every time before I move. At, we're asking the computer, hey, is there path ahead? And if there's path ahead, we'll move forward. And then if there's not, we stop. So once we get to here, because we'll move forward, true, I, I still path ahead, and I'll take a step. We check again, because we hit the bottom of this. Is there still path ahead? True. There is, and we take another step. Every time it's true, we take a step. Hit this again, go back up here, we're asking computer, is there a path ahead? True, yes, there's a path ahead, I take a step, right, because we run. True, zoop, run, bottom, back to the top. Is there a path ahead? False. If I'm standing here, no path ahead. No, there's not. And so we skip this code now and run whatever is beneath it. Nothing's beneath it, so this time we would hit the bottom of this and try to repeat until we get the sunflower. All right, but that would be dumb because we're here now. So let's go ahead and turn right. Turning right should make us look this way. And now what? Well, if we hit the bottom of our loop, we go back to the top, zoop, path ahead, move forward. So we'll keep walking till we hit here. Once there's no longer path ahead, we'll stop repeating this loop. So false, you got to the end, no path ahead. We drop below, we turn right, we hit the bottom of this. We're still not at the sunflower, so we'll run this again, standing here, now turned right. Wall path ahead, okay, move forward. I move forward one. Go back to the top. Is there still path? Yeah, there is. Okay, move forward. Zoop, move forward. Is there still path? Nope. Yep, and we'll move forward one more. Get the sunflower, turn right, and then stop repeating because we'll be there. Let's try. Awesome. I want to make the point, since we have an if loop here, you could also, we could say always move forward, but before, check. If there's a path, since we need to turn right, if there's a path to our right, automatically turn right. And so every time before we take a step, we're going to ask, hey, is there a path to our right? If so, so almost always false, false. And if it's false, we just go, Zoop, okay, whatever, move forward. Ask again on the next step. Path to the right? Nope, false, still not true. Oh, okay, let's move forward. Is there a path to the right? Let's say there is. Yes. Okay, turn right. And then we would run the code below this, move forward, and then we'd loop again and ask it again on the next one. Let's see if this one works as well. But, uh, either way would be correct. Let's keep going. 